Hi there, guys. It's Justin here again. Um, so last week I released a video. Um, I was very excited about 20, uh, Windows 11 22H2. So uh, obviously I downloaded the ISO, I loaded up Windows 11, and I made a video about my gaming experience uh, in my short time with Windows 11 22H2. It was very positive at the time. It still is. However, what I have noticed is that a lot of people have been moaning about update 22H2, um, FPS spikes and lags, and just uh, not as good a performance on Windows 11 22H2. So I did a little bit of research because I, it didn't make sense for me. Um, and it turns out the reason it didn't affect me is because I don't use GeForce Experience. I normally just load uh, the straight graphics driver. I don't want any of the extra services that g get created in the background. And funny enough, these are the exact services that are actually causing the lags and the drop in performance in Windows 11 22H2. So I'm going to put a link, or I'm going to put this link in the description of the video. And then you can just go and uh, follow this if you have loaded Windows 22H2 and you are experiencing some problems. But um, basically what this uh, alludes to is the fact that you can either um, update um, GeForce Experience to a beta version, which is version 3.26, by following this link over here. Just click on it there and then you'll see it will take you to GeForce Experience Beta V 3.26. I'm not going to do that. Or you can go into your GeForce Experience that you have currently and then manually update it to the beta version 3.26. Uh, but just be aware that um, in settings, what you're going to need to do is where is it yeah you go into settings and then you just select enable experimental features in order for the bolt in updated to see and apply the beta but yet again guys um if you really want my recommendation um uh, uh whenever you load a, in a new nvidia driver don't even load geforce experience um look it does add some extra filters but it also does add a whole bunch of extra services so potentially it does uh, always eat a little bit of performance so if you're like me and you want the ultimate performance for your graphics driver um, yeah just do a, cle a fresh clean install don't install uh, um, the geforce experience but those are my two cents sorry about my voice i've been quite sick and it's just not going well but anyways, guys, and then I think uh, NVIDIA will be releasing, uh, finally, a new graphics driver sometime this week as well. So, yeah, that's something to look forward to. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Um, it's people like you. If you haven't subbed to the channel just yet, please go ahead and smash that um, subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash the like button. But other than that, have a good day. Cheers.